Hey guys, it's Bob with Johnny Tech Review and hope you guys are all doing well. So it's been about a month and a half since I started playing with this uh, product here called the Diginal uh, 2 Display KVM Switch. This is a dual monitor display uh, right here. You can see uh, it's a two-way dual monitor and this it was sent to me by this company, Diginal. I had it since the beginning of the year and I've been using it on both my dual monitor for work and also my home setup where I have a 34-inch uh, uh, ultra-wide monitor. First, let's take an overview look at this, guys, and then uh, I'll talk to you guys about my experience in using this device. So for those of you who are not very familiar with KVM switch, um, effectively what they are is a hardware switch that allow you to plug in uh, two different devices or two different computers. Uh, it could be a laptop or two computers, it could be a window, Mac, whatever. And you can switch between them using uh, the one monitor, one keyboard, and one mouse. So you can share those two devices. Uh, this device is unique because it allows you to have two monitor output, uh, provided that you also input uh, two monitor uh, for each of the uh, PC. So up front, we have a few buttons as you can see. Uh, we have the uh, on-off switch. This is a mechanical on-off switch. So that's nice because that means you can plug this into uh, a smart switch or something like that that you want it to come on and off, but really just a nice little switch. Uh, you have your a button to switch between the different mode. Uh, here you have an indicator for PC1 or PC2. And then here you have the online uh, uh, indicator to let you know which PC is online. And then there's an IR little uh, receiver right here. Uh, it is make out metal, pretty nice unit. Uh, the whole unit is make out metal, pretty light, not too heavy. In the back here, we have a few port. We have uh, on the uh, right side here, you have the headphone port. Uh, which is also audio out. You have a 12 volt adapter. It does come with your adapter. You have display one and two out. Uh, you also have a mouse and keyboard USB port and then also a USB 2.0, an additional port that you can use as an input. And then over here you have PC2 and PC1. Uh, each of these PC2 and PC1 has two HDMI input. So this only take HDMI input, keep that in mind. Uh, and also a USB hub. So the way it works is you will plug a a set of HDMI uh, output from your computer, uh, two of them, and then you can also plug in a USB port to that computer. That way you can then um, have a use as a hub and then when you plug in your mouse and keyboard here, when you switch between them, you can control using this mouse and keyboard, uh, which is the whole purpose of the KVM switch. If your computer has um, you know, only one HDMI port, you might have a problem with that. Uh, of course, there are adapter and converter out there, but I'll leave that up to you guys. But, but for me, uh, on my desktop, I have a uh, 3070 and it has an uh, output port now for both HDMI. And then also for my uh, computer, my laptop, I have a hub there actually that I use. And that hub has two HDMI out also. So that works well for me for my uh, little test uh, unit. Uh, there is also a remote control. This is nice. Uh, it shows you up top here PC1 and PC2. And then you also have the uh, switching between the different uh, side if you want to do that. Uh, you also have audio that you can switch and then you have, uh, you can also manually change one of the input here. Uh, honestly, my use remote control, my, I do not use it that much for the simple reason, typically I'm sitting right in front of my computer and this KVM switch is right at the bottom so I can just click on it by myself. Um, speaking of which, there is actually one more nice thing about use remote that uh, you can really do that on the device itself. So instead of using both screen for the same PC, you can have one screen for the uh, first PC and one screen for the second PC. And then with the remote, you can actually switch between the sound and the USB control for each of the left and the right. So effectively, you can switch between PC1 and PC2 quickly and only use one monitor output. So there are really good scenario there where you can do that also if you like to do that. So for my work setup, I have two monitors. They were both the 24 inch uh, UltraShop monitor. They are both plugged into the uh, Dell hub that I have. And, and then that Dell hub is directly plugged into my laptop using uh, USB-C. So the hub itself actually have two HDMI out, which I connect to these. Uh, by the way, the device comes with all the HDMI cable. So you actually have, I think, Two, four, six. I think they give you six set of HDMI cable, so plenty of that, and also USB uh, cable and all that. But anyway, uh, plug into my laptop. I was able to uh, switch between uh, that laptop and then I have my Steam Deck, which I can switch over. But when I go into my Steam Deck, of course, I only have one output port uh, HDMI, so therefore, when I switch to my Steam Deck, only one of the monitor work. Something to keep in mind. Now, if both your PC or devices that has two HDMI out, then you're good to go. You can switch between back and forth, and that works pretty seamless. 
I noticed that it takes less than like two seconds to switch between the two of them. You click and it was like a little bit over a second, not more than two seconds to switch between the input and that's very fast uh, to have a both mouse and keyboard control. So that works well. Um, yeah, so that is something to keep in mind if you are using do HDMI uh, input and output. Uh, you do have uh, all your device have to have that. Now switching to the 34 inch ultra wide, the sole monitor I have in my own personal gaming setup. With that main PC, I only have one HDMI uh, in for this device. And then I actually have uh, my other laptop, which is my personal laptop. And in that case, it also works. So the device does support up to 4K resolution. I think it's 4K at 60 Hertz. So that's the fastest you can get. Uh, now that is an issue, again, with my gaming PC. Uh, I have now a Ultra Y monitor with 144 Hertz. So therefore, going to a KVM switch, it doesn't make sense for me. Uh, personally because I'm actually losing out uh, some of the features there. But however, for my work setup, uh, it worked well. And uh, in fact, I have it plugged there sometimes so that when I do decide to switch to my Steam Deck, uh, I can do that quickly and still have control from the mouse and keyboard. So that's a single monitor setup for both my uh, big computer at home and also my laptop and they both works fine. Honestly, in my use case, um, based on the setup that I have, this was a fun unit to test, but for me, it's not a setup that I need because I have my work and home PC all set up separately. That way, I don't really need that kind of setup, but for those who need a KVM switch, this works very well. Um, are there any cons to this device? I am using uh, this rose wheel mouse. Uh, it's a pretty simple mouse with a mouse 4 and mouse 5 button that you can use for back and forth on website. Through the KVM switch, those button does not work at all. Now, I have Google, I have tried to look on YouTube, I haven't found a solution for this yet. And I have reached out to the company and they basically told me, use a standard mouse. So maybe you can use the mouse without those button. Now I have tried this with my Glorious Gaming mouse. It has a software, but that software writes stuff to the, the, the mouse memory. So there's really no software that run in the background. I haven't tried with the Razer or any of the other company yet, but I'm pretty sure they probably do not work either. Uh, so that is something to keep in mind if you are using the KVM switch with a fancy mouse. So that is my quick review of this DigiNow KVM switch. It's a pretty nice device. It's well built. I like the fact that you have new uh, input and output uh, for the display. Uh, the USB port, uh, by the way, in the back, there's also a, a separate USB port that you can plug in. For example, a flash drive. And then when you switch between PC, it actually connects to that PC. So that's another nice thing to keep in mind. So that is it. If you guys have any question, feel free to leave it in the comment box down below. If you find this video useful, like and subscribe for more future content. Thank you. Have a good one.